this is the people's main event, more or less, man. This is the one where you have one dude saying, Patty Pimblett saying, if I beat him, I am teabagging him, Call of Duty style. Jordan Levitt saying, hey, man, if I win, I'm going to twerk on him, and then I'm going to go home, and we're going to call it a day. So this is going to be one of those very intriguing matchups where, I mean, listen, the, the, the hype isn't on Jordan Levitt. It's on Patty Pimblett, but arguably, the skill sets are very similar. Now, of course, Patty Pimblett does have a lot more experience. You know what I mean? 10 and 1 is Jordan Levitt. 18 and 3 is Patty Pimblett, for, former Cage Warriors champion, came over here. Plenty of experience, like I said, but we have seen he has one fatal flaw, and it's the chin. But he gets touched every UFC fight that chin is getting touched and it's touch and go and then he comes back and he has some um, uh, you know miraculous knockout now I have to get credit where credit is due here AJ I was watching the MMA hour and Ariel Hawani was having this segment where they were talking about Jordan Levitt is actually a betting man and he has a betting profile and he actually bet on himself he bet a half a unit on himself to defeat Patty Pimblett first round submission in this fight this weekend now should you bet on yourself if you're a fighter? Yes, you should always bet on yourself in any facet of life. Does that mean that just because you bet on yourself, everybody else should take the bet? No, absolutely not. Because to be honest with you, Patty Pimblett, man, once again, he's not the striker. He is a jujitsu guy who happens to have hands, right? And that's where he needs to work on the striking. So when it comes down to these exchanges, they get clinched up, right? You know what I mean? They hit the ground. They start working some, some submissions. I mean, Patty Pimblett has been submitted once in his career. Jordan Levitt, never, right? But I just feel like... Even though that's Levitt's strong suit, Patty Pimblett has enough oomph in him to be able to work his way out of those positions and get back up to the feet. I think that if you're smart and you're Patty Pimblett, you keep the fight standing and you just win the fight there. Do you think there's any credence that we should be lending to Jordan Levitt and that first round submission bet that he put on himself? I Not really, man. Not really. And I, I like the confidence to Jordan Levitt. I like the calculated nature that he's taking into this fight. I just think a lot of people are sleeping on the old school orange shorts of Patty Pamlet, man. Homeboy, yes, his, he, his chin does get touched in every single UFC fight we've had. But if you go back before that and all the other fights this dude's had, he's skilled on the ground, man. Very, very skilled on the ground. And that's that's where he found his home at first, was on the ground in the mats. And then he decided, oh, shit, I got some hands too. I can throw these bad boys as well. And if worse comes to worse, then, you know, we go to the ground. We get the submission. We get those. Go home. You know, just just many times like he has in the past. Um Although, man, what does give me pause for concern, as much as Jordan Levin thinks he's good on the ground, he's slick on the feet. So it might be one of these bait and switch kind of things where he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to submit this dude. I'm going to submit this dude. I'm telling all y'all, first round submission, I'm going to submit this dude. Comes out, bink, 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 three piece in a soda. Then we're seeing some different patty on stilts. I don't know, man. I, I don't hold much to the submission of Jordan Levitt or the, the submission prop that he's, he's been putting out there. Hey, can it happen? Yeah. Is it more likely? I'd see a knockout more likely than not. Interesting, because Jordan Levitt's one sole knockout has come in the form of a slam and not actually with his hands. So it's interesting that we kind of, you know, I mean, it feels a little like a reach slightly, right? You know what I mean? Because I do think Jordan Levitt, man, if he wants the fight to take place anywhere, it's on the ground. And there's no nothing wrong with that. It's just that's where his skill set is the best in this matchup. I just think Patty Pimblett has more ways to win. Because don't get me wrong, I wanted to roll with Jordan Levitt for the upset pick here. But Patty Pimblett, man. It's not just the star power. It's not just being in London. A lot of it just comes down to if it's on the feet, man, I just don't see Jordan Levitt out striking him, really. If it's on the ground, I think it's more of an even matchup than it is just a landslide in form. So like, that's what it comes down to here, right? It's troubling when you say, where you're the best at, if you take me there, we'll be more or less even. You don't want that. When it's like when you're the best there, you want it to be a landslide in your favor. You know what I mean? You want it to be nonstop, just you taking over, handling business. So... I think that Jordan Levitt, man, <clears throat> he's going to have to shoot and shoot early, man, and work those trips, work, you know what I mean, some some throws. But that's the thing. Patty Pimblett has great judo as well, man. So it's like if Patty Pimblett pulls uh, 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 what he did to Kazula Vargas against Jordan Levitt, where he does that J-flow throw on the hip, uh, that hip toss on the cage, right, and just puts him to the ground, man, I can see so I could see some crazy submissions getting put up. But this is the thing, too. Patty Pimblett has been talking about how there's a little heat on this fight now, how they're kind of talking a little mess back and forth. And he's like, bro, I want to smash elbows through his face, mate. You know what I mean? Like, he wants to do all of that Liverpool, you know? So, I mean, the Scouser, you know, he's ready to go. But Jordan Levitt, he's not one to be slept on. So I'm not going to lie to you. Would you be surprised, or I guess this is what I should ask you, would you be surprised, would you be mass mass massively shocked, excuse me for the, for the stutter right there, would you be massively shocked to see Jordan Levitt pull out a decision victory here? 
Ooh, yes, especially in London, man. And I don't think home court advantage is a thing, but I, I would be very shocked out there if, if that was the case. Would you? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Now, I get it. When you're talking judging, right, that's when it gets weird. But I'm just, I guess more or less I should say, would you be surprised Jordan Level walking away in the win column? No, I would not be surprised, right? Because I do think Patty Pimblett has so much hype behind him, and there are some flaws that could definitely be capitalized on. But once again, I think Patty Pimblett has the advantage here. If I had to pick, right, if you had gun to your head and you have to pick and your life depends on it, I'm picking Patty Pimblett. But... I might be dead after Saturday night because Jordan Levin might win. I don't know. Let's talk about the props, brother, because we know Patty Pimblett everywhere. That's where he wants to be. Jordan Levin on the feet. Interesting, unorthodox. But if we're picking Patty Pimblett, man, I mean, plus 250 for the submission, plus 250 for the TKO, and plus 300 for the decision. So all the odds are low, which means the odds makers are saying Patty Pimblett all day. It's just a matter of how it gets done, and it's pretty even across the board. So what do you like here? The over and under for this fight is two and a half rounds. So what do you like? I'm going TKO under. I'm going to go second round, start of the second round. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny you put that. I'm actually in consensus with you. I feel the same exact way. I do not see this fight going the distance because I do think if either one of them can get each other in a compromising spot, a very like a heavy top control spot. Patty Pimblett has great top control. So does Jordan Levitt, though. Jordan Levitt's coming from a wrestling background, brother. So it's like... It's just so tough, man, because his demeanor, right, it makes you want to be like, oh, you know, he's he's this kind of like softer dude. He's a beast, bro. He's a savage in there for sure. So both of these guys can capitalize, but I see a TKO. I see elbow slicing somebody up. I see this getting bloody. I see this just being violent, and that's what you want to see right here. But we are rocking with Patty the Batty Pimblet. I do think that this has the makings of being one of those fight of the fights of the night, though, man. I, I do think so. 